How do we go from this to this? Stick around and find out. Today's Craftmas video. Hey everyone, how's everyone doing today? My name is Gina, I'm doing great. Are we ready for our Craftmas video today? Okay, y'all, I have been wanting to do this video forever, or this craft forever. I saw this so many years ago, probably 10. It's been so long since I've seen this. And I've always wanted to do it. We're doing it today. It's the No So Snowman, okay? So I went to Wally World. I got some socks. Uh, these, what I don't use, of course, I can use for my little footsies. And I've got uh, these toddler socks. So my thinking is I can make a big snowman and then I can make a little baby snowman. So I've got that. And then I bought the cheapest rice that they had a lot of. This was like $3, I think, or something like that. Uh, Cause it's just for crafts, I'm not gonna eat it. So, even though it's good for dogs, dogs can eat this, so it's good for dogs. If I so desire so, but uh, yeah. So let's get started on how we make this cute little no-so snowman. And besides needing these items that I had to go buy, we also need, let me scoot you out a little bit. We need some rubber bands and, or thread. I've got rubber bands. You need some kind of buttons. I've just got these Christmas or holiday buttons that I can use. And ribbon. I've got this ribbon that I think would look cute. And I think that's it. Uh, oh. And we need little orange pom-poms for his nose. So I just have this whole thing here. So, And you want your hot glue gun. So I got my hot glue gun right here. Heating up, ready to go. These are so easy to make. You use the rice to fill the sock with ever how fat you want it to be, right? So I filled it up pretty much to the top of the sock. Then you take a rubber band, you close up the top with the rubber band or thread if you want to use thread and then you take another rubber band and you do the middle where you want the head and the body to be separated so there's your snowman right there you can either cut off that top if you want i didn't bother with it because i felt like it helped the hat stay fluffy then you use your buttons or whatever you want to use uh, to go down the bottom. I use my Posca pen to make his cute little face and then the orange pom-pom glue it on as well. And there is the majority of your snowman. I took a ribbon, cut it, glued it on as well once I got it where I wanted it to be. And then I will cut the toe of the sock off, uh, whatever sock you want to cut off. Uh, and put that for the hat this was so easy and so fun and stinking cute I loved using the rice because the rice was so easy it was malleable you know like you can squish them up make them longer whatever it's so much fun I love these things I did the exact same thing for the bigger snowman uh, and I will put the footage of that in here but yeah y'all do this it's so much fun do it with your kids you could even probably use regular glue and not hot glue uh, it would just take longer to dry of course if you you know if you don't want your kids to get burned with hot glue because you got to be careful but y'all this is such a sweet sweet fun fast thing to do oh her eyes <laughs> She kind of looks a little evil. I was trying to make it look more like a female, you know, but whatever. But yeah, so I say this was a 10 out of 10. Totally recommend doing this. I'm so glad I finally got around to do it. It seems like this year is my finally getting around to do these Christmas crafts that I've been wanting to do. So I hope you enjoyed this video, y'all. If you did, please give it a like. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed. Share. And I will see you tomorrow for another Craftmas video. Y'all be good to one another. And I'll talk to you later. Bye.